The challenges in this programme took place in a strictly controlled environment managed by the competition organisers. Do not attempt to copy them. The search is on for the next Street Striker. Hey, what you got next up? A Street Striker like Wayne Rooney. Keep an eye on him. Look at that for drive. Look at that for determination. No! Thousands of hopefuls have taken part in open trials. Touch. Aye! From the 100 best players, just 20 got to compete in front of Wayne in the Giant Tire Challenge. It's close. I could have went either way, yeah. but I'm going to keep it in the seat again. Okay. I think I'm still starstruck now, to be honest, because I just don't believe that I've actually met him. Only the best made it through. How you Kelly? It's Wayne. Now, just 14 players remain, hoping to become this year's street striker. But Wayne will be sending half of them home today. I can't wait for the next time. Hopefully, I can just progress and progress and win it, like. This year's prize. As guests of Coke Zero, the winner will be going to Argentina with a friend to experience amazing street football, South American style and they'll be VIP guests of one of the world's greatest teams, Boca Juniors. But first, it's round two, and the most spectacular street striker challenge ever. Wayne and former pro Andy Ansar have come to a skate park in Stockport. They are hatching plans to turn some of the best skaters and bikers in the country into human targets. Top skating instructor Leo and BMX champion Lee have been brought in to help. How are you, chaps? Good. Right, mate, you okay? Hi, mate. Nice to meet you. You all right? Right, mate. You okay? You all right? Yeah, good. How would you just learn to do that, do you know? Basically, just practice. Is practice, it, yeah? practice, practice. Similar to football, you know, train all the time, practice, gradually push yourself. Yeah. You know, go from small tricks and build your way up, you know. You've got to be hungry to progress in your sport. How would you feel about getting it with the balls? If it's, if it's getting... yeah, the balls don't hurt too much when they are. I think it will be good to, to mix it together and, you know, hopefully you just get it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so what about if you fall when you're high up? How, how's that going to work? Used to falling quite hard and, you know, as long as you can control yourself and relax when you fall, it's, you know, even if you get, you know, hit quite hard, I think you can probably roll out of it quite safe. Yeah. Play! The challenge Wayne and Andy have dreamed up hits the players against the skaters and bikers. The aim is to hit as many of them as they can as they do amazing flips and airs to avoid getting hit. Mother. It's mad. It's going to be a hell of a challenge. Hell of a challenge. That no, looks good, yeah. Should be good. Tomorrow, the players are going to have to pull out all the stops to get the better of the skaters and bikers. Meanwhile, ahead of the challenge, Andy takes the players off for some last-minute practice. They have no idea what Wayne has in store for them. OK, troopers, welcome to the bridge. What are we doing here? Two tyres and rope. Yeah. Basically, the next challenge you guys are going to do tomorrow consists of moving objects. So we're going to use these tyres and this rope, hang them from up here, and we're going to swing them. And we're going to see if you guys can hit the moving objects. Come on in, guys, let's get it set. There's one's done, one's done. Oli's going first, Orlando goes second. Play. This is a new scam. Get ready. There's keen rivalry amongst the players, and the group has already become fiercely divided between footballers and freestylers. It's quite interesting because, you know, the footballers look at it and they go like, oh, freestylers, it's a gimmick. It's a bit of a gimmick, and that's what a lot of footballers look at it. The competition this year has two highly skilled freestylers taking part, 
22-year-old Charlotte from Norway and 17-year-old Oliver from Macclesfield. They can both do amazing tricks none of the others can do. In the last round, Charlotte put Wayne through his paces. I can't do that. No, no I just play football. I can't do that. Teaching him how to do an around the world with a twist. Yeah. yeah. This is the new scam. Being able to do such incredible tricks still fails to impress most of the players. Footballers playing football, freestylers doing tricks like a circus. We're not at a circus, we're at a competition where it's street striker. Love that. The freestylers versus footballers, tomorrow I reckon footballers will win because they just do it with their feet, don't they? Oh, good luck to them. I don't think any footballers in the world can do what me and Charlotte can do because it's totally different. When you freestyle, everyone says, oh, you can do tricks, but I bet you can't play football. You just need to switch off that freestyle button in your head. Tomorrow, the pressure will really be on the freestylers because the skate park challenge does not play to Oliver and Charlotte's strengths. Freestylers are at a disadvantage because they never ever strike a ball away from their body. When we did the tyre challenge, the ball was nice and close to them, so they were okay. Whereas this challenge, they've got a striker away from their body. Ooh, the timing's great there. Unlucky. Effort. Bam! High fives, man, Z! Boom! It's competition time. They don't know it yet, but the players are about to enter combat. Their enemy, skaters and bikers. The players are going to have to battle to stay in the competition. Well, there's only 14 people left, like the press is on in it, but hopefully I can beat them all. Ahead of them is the skate park challenge, and the skaters and bikers are out to give them trouble. You can kick, kick a football, do you know what I mean? Yo, you can kick a football, you can kick a football. Give them a bit of attitude and just, you know, do pull some flips and put some stuff like that in there and a bit more variety, you know, and see how much you can get away with. Wayne knows today he has to send half the contestants home. The contestants will have to do two challenges to stay in the competition. Okay, everyone, thanks for coming. I'd like you all to give a warm welcome to our contestants. I'd like you to give a warm welcome to our bad boy skaters. Players face their opponents for the first time. This will be a gladiatorial clash. OK, everyone, this is our first challenge today. I'm really excited to see how it goes, so I'm sure Andy's going to give us a great demo, so if you just show your appreciation for Andy. <laughs> Wayne's been really looking forward to doing this challenge, but an ankle injury from a match the night before means he's unable to kick balls, and Andy will have to step up. Play! The players have to use timing and accuracy to try to hit four skaters as they jump over the skate ramp death box. Then they are faced by a barrage of skaters taunting them on the half pipe. And if that's not hard enough, it's against the clock. They have just 30 seconds to beat the skaters. Andy scored two direct hits on the skaters. It's clearly a tough challenge, and Wayne has some last-minute advice for the players. Just focus and concentrate on what technique he's going to use, because that'll be the most important thing, I think. It would be a lot harder if you, you try and hit, a, hit them hard. It's not really about power today, it's uh, more about accuracy. Coming up, the competition gets underway. And Charlotte's the first of the two freestylers to face the skaters. Do you think your freestyling skills will help you? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> 